so we have reached the end of our line, my friends, ladies, gentlemen, friends of the in-betweens. I just wanted to show you what the end of the line looks like, because I feel like most of the time when we talk about end of the lines, we're pretty ones. So I have no idea what this is called. It doesn't have a name in front of it. It does say... Restricted vehicle area. Cross country level... Or cross country travel prohibited. And we have a car. Whatever. I don't give a shit. nice here when uh, my friend Shannon and I found this place it was a uh, awesome thing to find and when we came there were tons of bees not that there aren't tons of bees now but there's other things there's beauty there's beauty everywhere and the Sun makes it hard to see but that's okay So yeah. <laughs> and yes, I am walking in the water in my shoes. Fuck you. Honestly, I'm so close to just like sitting my ass in this water. But I am going to head back into my car. Because it's getting pretty late. And... I don't want to hit traffic because I, I can take cars, take cars, being on the freeway and having to go slow. But if I have to be stopped, I'm not going to be happy. So, woo, deep part. Ah, oh, it still didn't even go in the shoes. Ah, that's awesome. Um, so, you know, I'd rather leave a little bit early. I've done a lot. I've done a lot more than I have in a lot of my weekends because of COVID going on. And it's, uh, it's been interesting. And it's nice doing the things that I like to do, which is going out in nature and seeing the things, looking, listening, and uh, eating lots of sandwiches. So, yeah. Well, I know the angle looks different. But I have just found the Smith Smith's Forks Campgrounds. My phone was like, ooh, hello, bumpies. Ooh, that's a big rock in the middle. Um, my phone was hella overheating. So I've had to remove it from being near my dash. And so uh, these are the campsites. So I'm just going to get close to these ones over here so we can check them on out um because these are the ones that have uh, apparently flushable toilets so i call these pretty standard off-roading campsites it's like literally the barest minimum you can possibly offer the only thing i like is that they have the little wood fixtures over the tables and since it's so hot here, you could totally do, um, do hammock camping, which is nice because, as I showed you guys earlier, I have a hammock, and I still have yet to actually camp with the hammock, so I really want to do that, and this would be a great opportunity for it. So, I'm just going to show you a little bit more. I don't really want to drive too much. 
comfortable holding the camera because I know you're not getting a great view. And I am not driving safely. Bumpy, bumpy. But I just want to actually like, get close to a restroom. And also figure out whether the campsites have numbers. Because I would want to know what general number range I would want to be in to not be directly by restrooms. Okay, I want to check that out because those do not look like um, flushable toilets. Oh, no, here. Those were definitely pit toilets. Boop, boop, rocky rocks. Oh, I want to know. I guess maybe you just have a ticket and you set it up. Because I'm really not seeing any numbers. Unless a, that's a number in the fire. No, those are just marks because, because stuff. Off-roading in the campground. Wah. These are something. I'm going to find out what that something is. It has a handy accessible sign on it. We're going to find out what that means. Did I put it in park? Yes, I did. Oh, Doki. Oh, it says family. Never mind. But the parking. Okay, that's locked. Okay, I'm going to check the other side. So. Yeah. Okay, we have some front ones. Okay, this one looks unlocked. Okie dokie. Yay! Okay, back that shit up, man. And there's even a fresh roll of TP in there, which is really great. Okay, so this has lock right there. Ka-chow! Coronavirus. It's real. Anyways, so these are what the campsites look like and also this whole area you're living in also rattlesnakes but anyways pretty pretty hills i'm going fast i'm sorry but anyways this is great so even though they're bare bones campgrounds um if you can have flushable toilets me that makes it so much more worthy to come here and camp. Also, here at Hungry Valley, and even in Smith Forks uh, campground, with flushable toilets, it's only $10 to camp. That's like some of the cheapest camping I've ever heard of. So, yeah. Campgrounds. I now know where I want to camp, and I know that they're what I like, so that's really good. And it looks like they have four of them and they are having them close for coronavirus reasons, which makes a lot of sense. And honestly, like, why well, have a ton of toilets to clean when you're not even being to full capacity? So, anyways, yeah. So I'm driving here and I am in the very bottom of this park so I'm on the opposite side where it dead ends where that river stream was now I'm in this area I mean it is absolutely gorgeous the road is easy it's sort of like a, a semi paved one where it's like you can see it I'm not gonna explain it I can look at it anyways ooh I am going to put my hazards on really quick and stop no one's behind me, and I can see a little bit ahead of me, so we are good. Look at that little bit of sediment drawing. I love the layers. You can't really see them through the camera. Let me see if I can zoom a little bit more and have focus more. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, put the window down, dumb shit. Okay. 
So that is really cool. So first you can see some um, power lines behind there. So that is where the freeway is. So we currently have the freeway separate, or the mountains separating us from the freeway, which I think is really cool. And right there we have layers of sediment showing. So at the very tip we have a um, darker tan with then a layer of lighter tan. And then the layer behind that is, I would say, a little bit more of a grayish hue. But those are different layers of, um, most likely like a sandstone. Um, so we finally, ah, I wasn't looking. I am sorry. So I said them in order. You can figure it out. Let's uh, get to a normal, normal zoom. So right now we're just seeing different breakages where you'll actually have plant base in the area where dunes sort of are. Because again, California is a very deserty kind of area. But that sand can become more rock like or at least accumulate enough to the point that um, you have dunes form, you have a rock formation form, and we have fun places to go. So I'm going to keep driving. Um, you can't really see what I wanted to show you before because I stopped for the rock formation, which I am not sorry for, but the trails that I was thinking of taking, they're looking a little more aggressive than I would want to take alone, especially as someone who is going out for the first time. I've been having fun. Uh, let's not curse it with uh, trying something and taking a little bit more than I can chew and I want to have someone with me in case something goes a little crazy because there were some really steep going over mountain bits and in the the map it says oh I have the map open I can show you yeah okay in the map which is right over here we're very zoomed okay we're outside okay so I just passed this campsite right here focus da da ba da not gonna focus. It says Lane Ranch Campground. And so I wanted to go up into this area over here. Excuse me. <coughs> and dust all day, man. Okay. <coughs> so I've been looking up. This is the area I've been looking up in because this 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 is that area. That this is going to be where I was going to drive. And I was hoping to drive into here and right there, you can't read it, but it says Freeman, Cannon, Kenyon. And then I was going to drive up this road, go around up to here. Um, and I was going to go up this way. And then there's this like little, uh, quail loop. But as I said earlier, I'm more interested in heading on home in more of a reasonable time. Uh, especially for traffic, although I'm pretty much By the time I hit the freeway, I'll be in the middle of it So it will not be too bad and honestly, I'm gonna find a place to eat So it will be a little bit later than that um, But it looks like I'll be doing some night driving, which is always pretty good. I'm I'm down. I'm having a good time <laughs> I am so happy right now. Okay, I was driving, you know, you drive these roads fast. Whoever's gone off-roading, you, you don't, you don't. There's, I was in reverse to record this video. But see that track that goes and has that little stop right there. It's semi-veered to the left. That was me slamming a hard stop. I'm going to stop once we get really close. All right, right there. So that was that there where those two little lumps are. Those are where my wheels stopped because I slammed my brake. Because a baby squirrel came running out in front of my fucking stupid car. Squirrels are literally animals on crack 24 seven. Anyways, back to the road, but I'm so 
happy and thankful that I didn't kill a squirrel. So, this is what you should do. Break. The location we're in right now, um, we're in the valley of Hungry Valley. We're near um, Friedman, Friedman Canyon and Quail Canyon. I remember the map. Um, so we're now in the valley between these canyons. Um, and that's what all these cliffs and rocks are for. Or that's what here that creates it. Um, I just accidentally took a photo while taking a video. That was a first. But yeah, out this window you can see that there's a trail up there. That seems pretty steep to me. And so I was going to go off in that area. But I'm not anymore because I'm alone. And I am not stupid. Uh, so off I'm going to go. Keep driving. And enjoy the day for the last bit of sun we have left. I have, can I get the swipe down? No, nope, because I'm in a video. Okay, tell me what time it is, car. Okay, so I have about two more hours before the sun is gone and I wanna be on the freeway before the sun's down. So we're gonna have to move this life right on forward. <sighs> so I am pretty much done riding for the day. I can see someone riding right over there. And now they're gone. So that but um I'm ready for lunch. Or <laughs> God damn it. I'm ready for dinner. And oh sh I um spoiled myself because while I was waiting for my sandwich, because so for breakfast and lunch I had sandwich that I had made. I got the family size sandwich. It's only $10 there. So if you have a Stater Brothers or I think Safeway is connected to Stater Brothers and they have a deli and they make sandwiches, check out their prices because like way better than Subway. Like maybe you can't get everything that you can maybe get at Subway but freshly cut. I still have two of these. But... My Stater Brothers is like trying to get all fancy smanshy and be sort of like a Gelson's. Or maybe they're owned by Gelson's now. I don't really know. But I got sushi. I just got California roll because I, you know, I don't know if I'm even going to like it. So, you know, this is a new thing that they're doing. I should put the sandwiches back into the cooler because they should be kept cold. Also, I don't think there's any chopsticks, so that sort of sucks dicks, but I came back to um, Smith's, Smith's Forks campground, and I just realized this is covered, because now we're equity, and I actually like it a lot more, and that is why my Suzuki has some shade, she's got some shade, anyway. So, um, yeah, this campground only has about three people here, and I'm absolutely surrounded by nobody, so I'm gonna assume I'm not, okay, that came from my container, <laughs> my arm got wet, um, I'm gonna assume I'm not gonna be bothering anybody, if I am, then I'm just gonna go, you know, but I like it here because I can eat my food and then I'll have a restroom. And then I'm going to be on my way back home. And it'll be easy peasy lemon squeezy. I hope this food's good. Because then I'll just have a sandwich. And then I had a sandwich fruit three times today. Which wouldn't be terrible. But, like, I hope it's good. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I'd use those toilets again. <laughs>